Morgan's in town, and I, I, I've always wanted to have him on the show. Today he's here. Put your hands in the show, for a copy. Cheers! Thank you. Thank you. Finally, I'm humble. God bless you. Oh, no, 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 no. God no, 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 bless you. The humbleness is mine. God bless you. I really appreciate oh, so uh, much. Is that a trumpet? Yeah, that's my pet. Your pet? Yes, yes. yes. I never knew. Yes, so. Um, I already went to. You studied uh, music at uh, Wendell? Yes, so University of Education, the really bad. So I want to say a big shout out to them. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, so. And then, I play trumpet. You play trumpet? I'm the trumpet maker. Really? Just that it has been on the low for some time now. Well. Wow. Well, I'm glad you brought it here. I didn't know that. Yes. I know you did. So this is a big surprise to yourself and some eh. people out there. Yeah. So I'll make sure you do something. With it. I'll let you play. Obviously, with obviously, 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 obviously. Thank you. 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 I'm because I remember when you were getting married, there were oh, Nasa Kobe Cry is too young, man. I know, right? You, you married. <laughs> hey, so we have all these figures. <laughs> wow, 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 I see. Wow. I and see, nice. Even, I think, from parental, they were worried that too. You're too young now. Why are you getting married? Why well, you spoke to my mom? <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, Why that's do you true. make this? Let's start with that. Why do you make a decision to marry at a young age of what, 28? 28. Where most of your colleagues now are still I know, because it's very scary. I know a lot of big men can I mean, they can't even venture into that field. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so um, when I finished um, school, I think at university, I was struggling. I mean, in life, I mean, as a young guy, when you complete school, you have to struggle. So I was mm -hmm. just uh, exploring. But it got to a time where I realized one thing. I have, I'm coming from a Christian background. Mm -hmm. And so now in my seminar, even though we're coming from a Christian background, mm -hmm. no, I realized that anytime my young man said, "Yeah, know," it put me behind. Damn, a month I'm my young man said, "We be across from me." But the time, a month I'm being what you chase him. Yes, we chase him, but any old far or bad, but I cannot go far. We cannot go far. We can or bad, but I'm not going to me. And anytime I do that, I face consequences. Yes, I like spiritually. My soul, yes, it slows me down with everything I do. It wasn't really moving forward. So I came to identify myself. Okay, so why don't I settle down with it? Even though that was a bold decision, I said to myself. Wow. Regardless if I have money or not. So you're thinking that if you settle down yes. to affect everything yes. else positively. Yes, possibly. Because anytime I do humanizing, it draws me back. So I said, okay, let me settle down. So I had nothing, nothing on me. I had only my back. When I got married, I had only my really? suitcase. I know a lot of people are saying that, oh, let me have car, let me have my yeah. mansion before. I had and only so, so because now whether we like it or not, the woman also is an alcohol where is he set up with us? Exactly. So money? it also boils down to the woman in question. She didn't. She, didn't. she, she was down to it. That's okay. So let's just do this. Really? So she also accepted. I was sleeping on the floor at uh, Dan Suman. A friend gave me a room. Really? Yes. So my so then she was my girlfriend come to sleep with me. And and we had from, yes. We had only pillow by then. So I think I bought one um, Kuntubi. Uh, so that was the first property I was. I saw him again just last year. Last year, I said, I, I, I married July uh, 7th, 2017. Wow. Yes, so end of last year. Wow. Yes, so everything just started turning around when I got married. Wow. Yes. So you have not regretted at all. Wow. Yes. 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 Yes.
to succeed. I told her, regardless, Charlie, I will make it. I will be one of the top bloggers. I will be one of the top this. I was always speaking into, I mean, well. positivity. So anytime she comes around, ah, this guy is different. Apparently, she has dated a couple of guys who didn't have the same drive. So when she okay. came around, she said, no. Yes. She saw that things okay. will turn around. Things yeah. will definitely turn around. Yeah. you okay you said that since you married and became focused yes things started changing yes what was the first major change that came up when you once you got married yes so the major change was the fact that initially I was uh, I was um, sleeping on the floor I mean a friend gave me his apartment one room to just stay so after I got married that blessing that came now people started blessing me with money and all that. So my first was to just uh, to, to get a rented apartment because I've never been, I didn't even know Sebi Abusumi, a theater in the cities. And I cry, you know how I cry is tight. Yeah, so yeah. the first thing was to get my own place, mm. my own apartment to live. Mm. I was like, God. And even when I even moved into the apartment, I moved in with the wedding gifts in my bag, mm -hmm. in my suitcase. So I had nothing like TV. I mean, anything I mean, you could think about when we talk about the home setting. So I entered there and also gradually buying these things. Mm -hmm. And within some few weeks, I sat down and said, Oh, so me to now can watch my own TV. <laughs> so, I ha so that was the first major blessing God gave yeah, me. Yeah. Getting my own place, my own bed, my own mm -hmm. television. My, mm -hmm. I mean, home setting. To stay yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, lovely, 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 man. Just Yes, I mean, and I, I, I dated a couple who also didn't see the vision. I mean, like I said, almost so they saw me say, Oh, guy, yeah, they've been on social media, oh, who the other life here. So, most of them didn't also see that in me. So, but today, I'm sure, say, when they look, yeah. one of my ex, I mean, tested me. She's in UK now. She, she sent me a message. I've really regretted. So she asked me to block her on WhatsApp, and I, I, I told because anytime she blocked me, she would unblock. Because anytime she watched my my, my WhatsApp status, she said, "Oh, she was, she was start crying." I said, "Oh, God is blessing you." Uh, so, yeah. so make sure that you don't do that to the next person you meet in your mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Awesome, man. Awesome. <laughs> Let's talk about you have been blogging because that's that's how I know you, that you are one of the most uh, eminent bloggers, you know. And the last time I remember listening to radio at that time, you had. I think you had a hundred thousand followers on Instagram. On Instagram, yeah. That's a lot. Thank you. And that was months ago. Where yes, I, months ago. Where, months ago. Where has it gone? To I you? think it's a one o eight now. One o eight k now. Yes. Wow. How did you? How did you? Let's start with blogging because that's what you're known for. How did you get into blogging and now it's become? Okay, so um, first of all, I think that let me say, let me use this opportunity to say a big thank you to Sarko Day and every platform that I mount. I make sure that I give. Him the credit. I mean, he's one of the influential for decades. He's been one of the influential. You know, he's affected people. I'm not a rapper, but you know the fact that I'm not. I'm really not being a rapper. Doesn't mean I, I don't have to follow him. So I'm someone who really admires Akode so much. Mm. His legacy, his brand, the way he carries himself. It about him that you admire? The way he carries himself and his brand yeah. is so attractive to the masses, the corporates, everybody. I mean, all sectors. Sarkodie's brand is attributed to everyone out there, and you can attest to that fact. Exactly. So I was a fan. I was like, anytime if you mention like ten sack big big uh, like the hard Sarkodie fans, I'm in there. Biggest Sarkodie fans. Ten, I'm in. Five, I'm in. Two, you're in. I'm in. One, you are in. Yes, the one, I'm in. <laughs> so people started calling me Sarkodie look alike. This guy like Sarkodie, Sarkodie, Sarkodie. So anytime I post anything about Sarkodie, the views was crazy. The likes. So anytime I call travels to say somebody to have a show, he didn't even know me. I'll, you go there. I'll go there. I remember at a point when uh, he had to go and um, launch his album, Mary album, around I think uh, Tamale. So when they got to the airport, I was there. I took I went, I went to Circle Station to pick the VIP. I got to there you twelve hours. Away, yes. In Tamale, I was like, "Some local China, and I'm missing him there." Wow. In Tamale, we have Portuguese more. And and so I called the engineer. I think that is manager. Yeah. Ah, now you could you how many hours? And I boy if you are crabish here. They were surprised. And so I kept doing that. I kept doing that, but nobody saw the bigger picture. I saw that dream of becoming like Sarko, not in music, 
but to be a brand like him. Wow. So I saw that picture. So you're following wherever you wherever you go. So I'll post videos. So anytime somebody goes mount on a platform, people, the news, I mean news bloggers, always want first information, and I'll get it because I'm always close to him. So anytime I post, like, hey Charlie, and you know Sack has a lot of numbers. Yeah, so when I yeah, post. Yeah the views and all that so after university like i said throwing my um series around nobody mind i said okay so where, now where were you looking to do where we went teaching to we wanted to go yes to because we really yeah, did music yeah, yes yeah, so yeah, music yeah, music yeah. education so i said okay so i have followers on twitter on instagram on facebook anytime i post i have crazy i have uh, views so okay so why don't i settle down and start something with social media so i went to google i was just doing my research and i came by the word blogging I knew Amir Debra and I want to say a big thank you to Amir Debra. It was the first point of contact. I visited him. I said, boss, I know you've been doing this for long. I want to start blogging. What's the way forward? He just told me one thing. Be consistent and put good content and stay focused. Wow. So that's the worst. Yes. The content you put out yes. there and the focus. And the focus. So I but I like that because you, you wanted to get into it and you sought somebody who was there. Who's Definitely. The because and he was there already, yes. Yeah. So I, I mean, yeah. turning around, I mean, he, he was the first point of contact to, I mean, get closer to, I mean, fish out information. So he told me, okay, so I said, okay, let me start. So I didn't even have, uh, I didn't have, um, what do you call it, a website. So it was just Twitter. You know CNN, they have news updates. Yeah. KSM means BET. Then your picture comes, the caption, that's it. So I started with that. Okay. So my wife, yes, just that. So my wife gave me my first money to get myself a website. Then it started from there, from there. But then I have a music background because I read music in the yeah. university. Yeah. Okay, so now what can I do to create impact in the blogging space? Now, if you look at the internet, a lot of people are talking about gossip. Gossip. Mm -hmm. Because they say, they be always say. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what should I introduce in to make me stand out? And mind you, people even think that I've been around for so many times, like for so long. One year, nine months. Professionally starting blogging, one year, one year nine months. But I've done, uh, by God's grace, I've been able to achieve a lot for myself. This is only very interesting because the, the space was cluttered already. Yes. And you're going to yes. join the cluster. Yes. So you have to think of something that you do that yes. differentiates you. Exactly. So what I was. That was standing out to put out positive content. Always. So that was the legacy. Show positive. some love. Man. Yeah. Always positive yeah, yeah, content. Yeah, somehow, yes. Like, uh, you Always positive. The exactly. Negative the negative. Person. No. So if I even invite someone on my platform to interview, so let's say if I'm going to even interview a crappy polo, I will take her to a different angle that mm -hmm. people will learn something from mm -hmm. where. Not to mm -hmm. really throw her to mm -hmm. the negative style that probably she's been doing. So I said, okay, so positive. And it, that's a very tight corner though. Because always people are also on the internet to yeah. read about gossip. Yeah. So what am I going to do then? I said, no, God, just keep me focused. Keep me focused. Keep me focused. So always positive, positive. So now I've been able to create a niche, like an audience where they know mm. that COVID, they are going to plus from there, clean, positive content. Yeah. So yeah. that's how come people, and you know, when you put up uh, positive content, you'll be able to associate yourself with people like Mr. KSM. And now brands like MTN, brands like Samsung, huge brands now DM me. Anytime I go for events and I see Joy News and other um, um, stations, yeah. I'm in there. I'm the only blogger in there. I ask them why. So you have clean content. Wow. wow. So I think that now it has put me on that map that I was thinking I want to be like Sarko there some years to come. Yeah. Even though I don't think, in your, yes, your space. in my space, yeah. the master can relate to me, the corporates can relate wow. to me. Wow. I also read something about some Australian... I don't know documentaries. Yes. Yes. So I yes. So I woke up one morning and I saw this um, Australian media has sent me a message in my mail. I read. I think so. I just gave it to my wife. My wife on not reading. It's a bit of my So I came me. So kind of. I mean, I was like, oh, you just roll. You know, sometimes people can just send some scam. So I was confused. So I said, I replied. They sent a mail that they are an um, Australian media coming down to do a documentary on artisan people in Ghana who do things with their, uh, with their hands, who can craft, who can do a lot of things. So they researched, they did their own research and I'm part of the bloggers they selected. So they want to come to Ghana. And I see you. So yes. You. But apparently they've contacted a lot of people, but none of them knew replied. So I was the only person who responded to their mail. Wow. So they came to Ghana. I, I picked them from the airport. We went to Tamale. We tour around Ghana. Then they sat me down to do raw business with me to talk about the Ghana arts and entertainment. Mm. Mm. And that's something that, I mean, amazes me. 
within this short period of time. I don't even have much information about me, much on the internet. But the little they were able to lay hand on, it was positive for them to drive on. Mm. So, so you are stream with them, give them a better view. A bigger, of, yes, of course. Both the artisanal uh, yes, in and industry entertainment. and entertainment industry. So now the so the document or uh, the document will come out end of this year. Okay. Yes. So we are looking at doing some partnership. Probably who knows? I'll, I'll be there. And I hope the youth that are watching are also listening to the step that you took. You did. I mean, and I've seen, yeah. I've seen some um, Facebook comments, some social media comments coming like, I look up to you. When I see those, I say, hey, I'm not crying about that. Yeah. But I look up to you. You're yeah. always positive. You're doing the right thing. I think that alone that's, is fulfillment. Yeah. For me, that's the main thing, you know. Thank I, you. I like how your focus is on that. But yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Keep it up, man. Thank you. Thank you. Without it. No, I thought we were going to do it some other time. Oh, oh no, no, no. What are you going to do here? We never be sure if I never book a crap. So this is called a trumpet. This is called. Yes, this is called a trumpet. So you studied this? Yes. So this was my major instrument. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I did music education. I see. So it means I can teach music. Oh. And also play. So I play the piano. I play drums and I play. So um, back in the university, you can you can touch on some of the instrument as your minor but you have to take one as your major, as your major. yes but my father also plays the trumpet my, my father is with ghana fire service now oh really yes he yes What's he plays the mr david cranton okay he plays the trumpet at fire service band so he taught me junior high school days so oh okay so you, yes you're yes i mean yes so i, I play there's one song that i like you know it, it, it's so wild that the words that song moved me it is well <laughs> Oh, when one piece like a yes, 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 yes. Oh, you like that song? I like that song. Hey, can because I? Because it is well. It is well with you too. <laughs> wow. Okay, so if you it is well, then. Uh, hmm, okay, let's then see. Before you leave here. <laughs> My mom, my mom is a nurse, um, um, Selina Ba, uh, she works at Salvation Army uh, Clinic at Aguna I think mm -hmm. that I love her for one thing. She took me to a good school. You know her reason? She said she wanted me to have good classmates. Mm -hmm. That's one of her major reasons. And now if I turn around, most of my classmates are on top. So, you know, yeah. so, and when at the point where she was taking me to um, international school, one of the best schools in um, Aguna Suedo, Greenfield Preaching mm -hmm. School, her colleagues were laughing at Hey, who needs Canada to come international school? Who needs Canada come international? But today I'm sitting on KSM because of the foundation, the background, the details. So big shout out to my mom. I love you so much, mommy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, uh, Zalafon FM, yes. Yeah. And I want to say a big thank you to Mr. Sammy Flex. I don't know. Okay. Yes. Sam Very is a positive great guy. man. Yeah. I don't know what you saw. Because I've not, I mean, been on the radio before. He just invited me. <laughs> just come over, let's work. I was like, oh, I've not, I mean, been on the radio, I've not been on the panel. He said, okay, no, just come. And for the beginning, it was, because, I mean, speaking on the radio, you have to be careful with your words and all yeah. that. So, I mean, this man had to coach me, small, small. And now, I think he's also giving me, giving my name to some audience that it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. So, big thank you to Mr. Sammy Barflex. Sammy Barflex, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Well, well, Kobe, it's good that I have you here today. Thank I've you. I've always wanted to 
post to you. God bless you. Even if it's a minute charge, I think that uh, this will go into history. Oh, yeah. Yes. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. So yes, God bless you. Posting the, the, the king of the blog. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm not a king. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a king. Yeah. I'm a king. Aspiring king, whichever way you want. Thank to you. Do. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I know a lot of people want to go into blogging now because yeah. it, it's. What advice do you want to give them? Yes. What I want to say is that they must read wide. Read why they make sure that it's your passion because me i don't stay home even with, with weekends i have to go and cover events so make sure identify yourself and know that it's your passion mm -hmm. but now i know it's my passion so even when i'm on the phone i see it to be like happiness work and happiness mm -hmm. but if it's not your area you'll be there and you want you will be thinking let me go home the stress even in the stress moment i find happiness yeah. so make sure that if you want to go into blogging it's your passion for it and read and make sure you build connection build contacts that is key. If you don't build contact, you'll be doing your own thing, but nobody will even notice mm -hmm. you. So make sure that. And go to concerts. Invest. Pay for concerts and go and mm -hmm. cover. Mm -hmm. Because before you be accepted, sometimes I'll go and just cover. I'll pay and go and cover. But in your mind, now, in the minds of people, they will think that they've paid me. But no, it's my own yeah. ticket. Yes, I've paid for it. So make sure you invest. Buy cameras. Buy microphones. Invest in everything that you're doing. And the time you spend on social media, throwing people, saying negative things about people, about people make sure that you forward the same energy to read and put out good content out there to educate people. God bless you. The KSM Show.